All right, so you're thirsty. You can grab a bottle of water. Or maybe you can't take another bite of your meal at a restaurant, so you ask for a container and you pack it up to go. Well, these are both example of, examples of what's called single-use plastic, and it's something the team at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum is trying to eliminate. The museum's director of education, Jill Ferris, joins us today to talk a little bit more about this initiative. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Thanks for having me. All right, so tell me, why is there a push to eliminate single-use containers such as this plastic? So a big part of our mission is uh, is stewardship and we are a history museum we think about stewardship of the culture and the history of the Chesapeake Bay but in talking about the culture and the history another important element of that is stewardship of the Chesapeake Bay itself and its mm -hmm. waterways and we're seeing a bigger and bigger impact with the single-use plastic that we have coming onto our campus and so we want to take as many steps as we can to work to eliminate that so that we're doing better for our environment and better for our future generations. Right, right and I gave a few examples even showed mm -hmm. an example of a, a single-use uh, plastic. What are some other so, items? So we think of single-use plastics as disposable plastics, mm -hmm. something that uh, is intended to be used or, th or recycled, um, used once and then recycled or thrown away. So water bottles are popular, uh, styrofoam containers, straws have gotten a lot of attention as single-use plastics, but it could be anything. It could be, uh, we have a working marina, so it could be a can that's used for, or a uh, plastic container that's used to hold oil in. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're working to eliminate as many of those as we can. We're thinking of alternatives that we can bring onto our campus. So instead of a plastic fork, maybe it's a bamboo fork. Um, to try and, and stem the tide of plastic that we have. So have you seen the impact of, of this plastic firsthand? And if so, what? So we have a beautiful 18 acre waterfront campus right on the Miles River uh, in St. Michael's. And it's, it's gorgeous. Part of our campus is a living shoreline. And so we have the tide come in and we have plant life and animals that are in the shoreline. But more often than not, when you're walking along, you see marine debris. And often that marine debris is little pieces of plastic or even big pieces of plastic. Oh, all right. But on the other side, we also have thousands of visitors coming to our museum every year. And especially on festival days, it's very common that you see people walking around with their water bottles or eating with their plastic utensils. Mm -hmm. And the amount of trash that we have at the end of those festivals is, is huge. huge. So yeah. thinking about ways that we can be eliminating that so that those plastics don't end up in our river. It's sure. a really important part of our stewardship message. Now, obviously, you're just one organization so um, that's making this effort. But the hope is other organizations will jump on board? So our goal in starting this initiative was that we were going to commit to doing this on our campus. We can be the best stewards of our campus um, as possible, but we're working in partnership with Mystic Seaport Museum in Mystic, Connecticut, and both of our institutions committed to this process. We're walking side by side, making the changes that we need for our museums. And then part of that uh, part of our process is documenting our steps so that we can provide resources to other maritime museums, other local institutions that are interested in making a similar change uh, and helping to support them in that process as well. And maybe the visitors can take this along with them into their everyday life? Absolutely. We invite people to join us in the process of keeping our campus pla single-use plastic free. And for a lot of our staff members, it's been a learning process. We have people that uh, have learned that were huge proponents of bottled water and they've made the switch to having reusable containers. Mm -hmm. In my personal life, I have a four month old daughter. My husband and I made the decision to use cloth diapers as much as possible because that was another way we could eliminate single use plastics. All right, one person at a time, <laughs> one organization at a time. Jill Ferris with the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me. Good luck with the effort. Thank you. All right.